Hi everyone, it's Steve on the Guru Brew. Well, if your computer screen looks like mine, you now have the United States Courts virus. And you can see right here where it says United States Courts. What this is, is a ploy to try to get your money. If you read down through here, you will soon discover that someone is telling you that you've done something wrong and as a penalty you are to pay a sum of money to them to unlock your computer and it gives you further instructions to go to these retailers pick up this money pack for three hundred dollars take the code from the money pack put it in this box and then it will unlock the computer and if you read up here you can read some scary facts of why they have locked your computer and if you ask me it's it's done poorly because as I scroll down through here the uh, the text runs in together so they've tried to either confuse you or make it hard to read or just did a bad job with this virus you can see how it moves underneath other text but anyway this is a ploy to get your money and if you pay the three hundred dollars you're only gonna line the pockets of those that are stealing from you and they're not gonna fix your computer in any way so I'm gonna spend some time with you and show you how to remove this virus from your computer so it will bother you no more this is much like the other two viruses that I recently documented one of them is called the FBI virus and I have another one up here called the Department of Justice virus and like I said they look almost exactly like this except they've changed some of the pictures and the text so hang out with me guys relax we'll fix your computer let's get started okay so I've been playing around with this little virus and I think I have a good way to remove it so let's get started the first thing that you want to do is turn off your computer and you're gonna have to hold down your power button on your computer or your laptop and just keep holding it till the light goes off and it will finally shut itself down now the second step is to remove the internet from the computer now if you have a laptop you're gonna have to disconnect the Wi-Fi box and turn it off temporarily while we're working on this problem either way make sure that the computer cannot communicate with the internet okay all right the next step is to locate the F8 key on your keyboard which is here we're gonna turn our computer back on and begin tapping F8 Let's do that now. On. And I'm just going to start tapping F8. I just turned the computer on. I'm watching my computer screen here. And I'm tapping it at moderate speed. Just about like what I'm doing here. And you will arrive at this screen. And you can see at the top it says advanced boot options and this screen allows you to administer the computer and generally techs come into this area to fix computers but I'm going to show you how to do it yourself I've tried several different techniques with this particular virus and the best way that I found is to come down with your arrow keys here to safe mode with command prompt so you're going to use your arrow key and you're going to go down to this one right there and then you're going to use the enter key on the keyboard click and it's going to load up the file and this will take some time just be patient and I will be back in a minute as soon as my screen changes to the next item so hang on for that okay our computer has now come up now my operating system is Vista yours might be Windows 7 or another one 
Either way, this uh, pretty much works all the same. What you want to do at this point is log into the account that you normally use. So I'm gonna click on this one here. If there's a password on the account, make sure that you put that in before you enter in. And this is gonna move quite slowly because we're going in the back way. You just have to be patient. I'll be back as soon as things change again. Okay, well, my computer has now finished logging me in, and you will get this flashing cursor inside a Windows prompt that looks like this. The first thing that you're going to want to do is type in with your keyboard CD and two periods. So, CD and two periods that stands for change directory and as soon as you get that typed in press the enter key once you will notice now that it went from the Windows system 32 directory down to just the Windows directory here okay now we're gonna type in another code the next code that you're gonna type in is R S T R U I dot E X E again it's R S T R U I dot E X E and press enter now it might look like it's not doing anything at this point it's just sitting there but again, be patient and wait for something to change. And as soon as mine changes, I will be back. Just be patient. Things will happen. Okay, well that took a few minutes, but this window here finally popped up. And this is the Restore System Files and Settings. And this is going to allow us to um, return our computer to an earlier date before we got this virus. This is what we're going to do. So you want to use your mouse and just click on this next. At this point, you're going to be presented with a list of date and times and then a description next to it. What we are to do here is pick one of these calendar date and times that was before the problem of the virus occurred. So if your computer had a virus on Friday night, you're going to want to return it to Thursday night. If there's no Thursday date, go to a Wednesday. So the object is to pick a date before the problem happened. And if in doubt, pick a date that was well before your problem started. Now, this is not my computer. This is a customer's computer. So I'm going to roll it back quite far because I'm just not sure when they had the problem. So I'm going to pick this 720 date here. And I'm going to click the next here. At this point, it's asking you what system volume you would like to restore. Make sure that you have the one that has the C drive checked, the top one here where it says system and the other one you can just leave unchecked if you have more than one you might have different ones than I do as long as the C is checked here you're fine and then click next now before you click next and you're if you're using a laptop make sure that you plug the laptop into the wall so that you're not using battery power because if the battery dies during this process it might make things worse okay so click next here it's just confirming that we're going to restore this computer to the chosen date and time we're going to hit finish here and then confirm yes and you can see that it's preparing to restore and again this is going to take some time and as soon as my computer stops and restores itself 
I'll be back. So hang tight for that. Well, this is just an update to this restore process that we're doing to remove this virus. It's been about uh, 10 minutes and it's still at this screen saying that the system restore is initializing. So this process does take some time. I just wanted you to be aware that it's not instant and it might seem that it's hanging, but uh, in fact it is working. You just must have patience. So again, I will be back as soon as things change. Okay, well my computer did restart and finish and it took about 20 minutes. Yours might take less or more time depending on how much things you have on your computer and how big the hard drive is. But like I said, it restarted and it brought me back up to the login screen. So let's go ahead and click on our username here and, and see what's happening here. The computer is taking some time to restart it's gathering all the information from the system restore so this will take some time on the first boot after the restore well here it comes now So what it was doing was before this desktop could come on the w screen was going to white and then the virus was popping up. So it appears that the, the virus is gone. Let's go ahead and plug our internet back in now and if you have a wireless box for a laptop you can go ahead and turn that back on. All the services are just now starting, so I want to give it just a brief moment to catch up. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, click on this internet tab and see what happens with that. See if we've got our internet back here. Well, the internet is now working and the virus will no longer bother us. The internet is working on this machine and I have a message up here that says the system was successfully restored to that time and date there so this should be good. Okay everyone well I hope this helps you out just remember this is not a destructive virus but rather a nuisance and it definitely tries to extort money from you so don't pay the fee just fix it yourself. To recap what we did, we shut the machine off by holding the power button, then we restarted with F8. And then as we tapped F8, a selection box came up and we picked to start in safe mode with command prompt. And then we typed our code that you can find in the video description to launch the recovery module. We picked a calendar date that was a safe time and then we were very patient and waited for that to repair our computer. Then finally we plugged back in our internet and did the testing and as a final you want to make sure that you install an antivirus program and run a full system scan. Well I hope this video has been of use to you. We appreciate your comments and please give us a thumbs up if it's been used for you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video, and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.